A while back, we have learned about the Lambert W function in an integral node differential. <laughs> Good morning, fellow mathematicians. Welcome back to another video. Oh, I should make this other thing in our take. Never mind. Um, a while back, we have talked about the Lambert W function in a differential equation video. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Good morning fellow mathematicians, welcome back to another video. So I hope you did like this little outtake. A while back we have talked about the Lambert W function as being the inverse function of x times e to the x. And today I would like to integrate this thing right here and we have already derived all the tools to solve something like this in former videos. Links will be in the description. So let's just dive right in, I would say. So I would like to integrate this function today by treating Lambert as just an inverse function f to the minus 1 of x. And we have learned a little formula before. If we want to integrate an inverse function with respect to x, we are just going to end up with, well, x times the inverse function minus the antiderivative of the inverse function inverse function in composition with the inverse function plus some arbitrary constant c. So this might sound quite confusing. You can interpret this thing right here as just f of f to the minus 1 of x. You will see in a second why this thing right here is useful and how we can do it. Y use it. Let's phrase it that way. <laughs> okay, um, we nearly have all the tools that we need to integrate this right here. All that's really missing is the inverse function of the inverse function and then taking the integral of that thing. So what exactly is the inverse function of Lambert of x? Well, it's exactly the function f of x being defined as x times e to the x. I told you that before. And well, all we really need to do is to find the antiderivative, the primitive of this thing. So let's integrate both sides with respect to x. And how could we integrate something like this? Well, just use integration by parts. So something to differentiate, something to integrate, plus, minus, plus, don't forget your signs. So Integrating e to the x would be better than differentiating it because x would go to zero way faster than e to the x. So let's differentiate x and let's integrate e to the x. Integrating this is actually quite easy, just gives us e to the x all the time. And differentiating x, well, first iteration is just one and the second iteration is going to be zero. So that was quite easy. Multiply this together and subtract this multiplication from this thing right here and then we are done. So let's plug this in. This is just x times e to the x and then minus e to the x. And well, now we have found out everything that we actually need and we are going to plug it into here. So the first part is just x times Lambert of x minus. And now we want to, so all that this thing is really saying is that we should plug this inverse function Lambert of x into all the x's in here. So that's all there really is to it. And don't forget your plus c in here, but, but we can just add this c to this c and it's going to give us a new constant. Never mind. So what this thing means is that we end up with Lambert of x times e to the Lambert of x. Negative and negative becomes positive. So positive e to the Lambert of x plus some arbitrary constant c. And now we are basically done, but we can do some more simplification and stuff like this. Because, for example, if you want to express this thing right here only with respect to x, you could say, and Lambert of x. So without all those exponential functions. That's quite easy, because if we take a look at the function f of x once again, notice if we would plug in Lambert of x as the argument in here, so f of Lambert of x, we would end up with the argument itself at first because function on inverse function is just the argument and on this side we just have to plug in the Lambert of x in all of those x's. And as you might notice this thing right here is exactly that. So this is just x and well we can divide both sides by Lambert of x to get an expression for e to the Lambert of x. So e to the Lambert of x is nothing but x over Lambert of x. We don't want this thing to be equal to zero. And well, this is just x over 
lambda of x and what you can do now you can factor out this x on all of those terms and then you are done and that was already the video so that was quite easy. I hope you did enjoy this little x course into a lambda w function integration. I'm going to talk about a quite hard integral to be honest um, next time probably. Um, also involving the Lambda W function. If you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe and recommend me if you like. If you want to support me a bit more, link to my Patreon is in the description. And up until the next video, have Lambda Day. See ya.